Welcome to another training session of the Tia Poodle. In today's session, we will see how we can make a simple program in the ladder logic for the car wash system. This car wash system has three stations, rinsing station, main wash station, and the air blowing station. Before discussing further, I would request you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more video tutorials. At the rinse station, we have a car sensor number one which is connected at the I0.2 input of the PLC. When the car comes in front of this sensor, the PLC will turn on the rinsing nozzles by turning on the PLC output Q0.0 and rinsing nozzles will spray the water on the car for 50 seconds. Once the rinsing is finished, the driver will move the car forward and move to the main washing station. Here, as soon as the car comes in front of the car sensor number 2, I0.3 sensor, the soap applicator Q0.1 will move one turn around the car and apply the soap on the car body. Once the soap is applied on the car, the soap applicator confirms the application by giving the signal at the PLC input I0.4. Once the soap is applied on the car body, there is a rest time for the 15 seconds. Once the 15 seconds are on, the rinsing nozzle Q0.2 opens and start washing the car to remove the soap. These rinsing nozzles will remain turned on for 30 seconds. Once the main wash cycle is over, the driver will move the car forward as soon as the car comes in front of the sensor number 3, I0.4, the PLC will turn on the air blower's Q0.3 for 30 seconds to remove the water from the car body and dry it. After 30 seconds, the air blowers will turn off and here the main washing cycle will be finished. Now let's see the programming for the today's car wash project. In the network number one, we have a logic to start the cycle. So we have a start push button I0.0. Whenever we turn on this start push button, it will turn on the cycle start bit M0.0. We have a start push button I0.1. When we press this start push button, it will turn off our cycle start bit M0.0. In the network number two, we have a logic to start the rinse cycle. When the start cycle bit is on and the car comes in front of the sensor number 1, I0.2, it will turn on the bit M0.1, which is start cycle rinsing. And in parallel, it will turn on the output Q0.0, rinsing nozzle station number 1. And this nozzle will turn on and start to rinse the car body. In the network number 3, we have a rinsing timer. When this bit M0.1 start rinsing cycle is on, it will start this timer T1. And once the 50 seconds are over, it will turn on the station number one rinsing completed bit, which is M0.2. And we have inserted the normal close contact of M0.2 bit here. And once the 50 seconds are over, it will turn on this bit. And this contact will be opened up and it will turn off the Q0.0 output for the rinsing nozzles and it will close the rinsing nozzles and stop throwing the water on the car body. In the network number 4 we have a soap applicator cycle. So when the station number 1 rinsing is completed the M0.2 bit will turn on. And when this bit is on and the car comes in front of the sensor I0.3 at the station number 2, it will turn on this bit M0.3 start soap application. And in parallel, it will start the Q0.1 output of the PLC and start the soap applicator. In the network number 5, we have a soap application done signal. So when the soap applicator moves around the car one time, it will send a signal to the PLC input I0.5 to indicate that the soap application is done. It will turn on the bit M0.4, which is soap application done bit. 
we will insert the normal close contact of this bit here to turn off the soap application next in the network number six we have a rest timer for the 15 seconds once the soap application is done it will turn on this t2 timer for the 15 seconds once the 15 seconds are over it will turn on this bit m0.5 to start the final rinse and in the network number seven we have a logic for the final rinse once this bit m0.5 is on and the card is already at the i0.3 sensor it will turn on the bit m0.6 which indicates that the final rinse has been started and in parallel it will turn on the q0.2 bit to turn on the final rinse nozzles in the network number eight we have a 30 second timer for the rinse cycle once this bit m0.6 is on it will start the timer for the 30 seconds once the 30 seconds are over it will turn on the m0.7 bit and we have inserted the same bit normal close contact here and once this bit is on it will open this contact m0.7 here and this will turn off the final rinse nozzles q0.2 after 30 seconds in the network number nine we have a air blow cycle once the final rinse is finished and the car comes in front of the sensor i0.4 it will turn on this air blowing start bit which is m1.1 and in parallel it will turn on the q0.3 output of the plc to turn on the air blowers in the network number 10 we have a air blower timer and uh, once this bit is on it will start this t4 timer for the 10 seconds and it will turn on this bit air blowing done bit m1.2 and we have inserted this normal close contact here and once this timer is over this bit turns on and this contact will open up and it will turn off these two bits and we have used the same bit in here as well in final rinse cycle to turn off this m0.6 bit here as well in the soap applicator cycle to turn off this start soap application bit and we can use the same bit here as well to turn off this cycle we can insert the normal close contact here of the m1.2 bit so when the final step which is air blowing is completed it will turn off our start cycle bit m0.0 so this is the program logic for the today's tutorial we will upload this logic into the plc and once it is downloaded into the plc we will monitor the ladder logic and see the whole process as we press the start push button once the cycle start bit turns on as the car comes in front of the sensor i0 point the rinsing nozzles output q0.0 latched on and rinsing starts now as the rinsing cycle bit m0.1 turns on it have also started the timer t1 for 50 seconds after 50 seconds the timer will turn on the rinsing completed bit m0.2 As the 50 seconds are over, this bit M0.2 normal close contacts open and turn off the rinsing nozzles Q0.0. In the network number 4, as the car comes in front of the car sensor I0.3, it will turn on the soap applicator Q0.1. As the soap applicator complete one turn around the car, it will send the application done signal at the PLC input I0.5. This signal turns on the bit M0.4 in the network number 5. This bit in the network number 5 starts the 15 second delay timer. After 50 seconds, the timer will turn on the bit M0.5 to start the final rinse. As the start rinse M0.5 bit turns on, it will turn on the final rinse nozzles Q0.2. 
as the rinsing starts 30 second timer also starts and once the 30 seconds are over the timer turns on the final rinse finish bit m0.7 and the normal close contact of this bit opens and turn off the rinsing nozzles next in the network number 9 as the car comes in front of the sensor i0.4 it will turn on the air blower's q0.3 output and, and air blowers start to blow off any air particles on the car body as the bit m1.1 is on now it starts the 10 second timer after 10 seconds the timer turns on the bit m1.2 this bit m1.2 turns off the air blower output q0.3 in the network number 9 Similarly, the normal close contact turn off the start cycle bit M0.0 and whole process stops. So this is how we can make a small logic for the car washer using timers and NONC contacts. I hope you like this video. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.